Hey everybody, welcome to the Pokey Lounge. I'm James Arizona. And I'm Jamie. Today we're going to be talking about the new Legends of Arceus game coming out this Friday. I'm pretty excited about it. Jamie, what are your thoughts? I think it's going to be pretty cool, actually. Um, I've been waiting a long time for a live-action RPG Pokemon game. I can't wait to be just kind of out throwing balls at Pokemon right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm I'm excited. I'm excited because Pokemon could actually come out and attack you. Um, I think the graphics mm -hmm. look amazing. I'm normally a grass type guy, so I don't know. I think I might be going for Cyndaquil this time. What about you? Well, I think I'm going to stick with Rowlet, honestly, even though Decidueye mm -hmm. kind of looks funky right now. I think it kind of looks cool. I've seen some other like kind of artwork for it where he has like his arms extended. So he looks like he has the wings. So I think he just might have his wings folded up or something like that. And it kind of looks weird. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I might just go with my boy Rowlet because I like him. Rowlet. I mean, I do love Rowlet. Um, I do love the Sidui. He does look a little funky in some of the leaked images that they posted out. But I guess we just have to see maybe this new design will grow on us. I mean, Mm -hmm. We just have to see and see if he has a new move set or what what's all in store for us. I think what it is is like, you know, whenever like um, Sword and Shield came out, we saw all the new Pokemon. We're all kind of like, oh, these kind of look weird, and now they're just normal. I think that's what's yeah. going to happen. You know what I mean? We're all going to start playing this, and they're just going to be like, oh, that's just normal now. You know what I mean? We're not even going to worry about how it looks funky or anything like that. You know? I was so excited a few months ago when we finally got to see. Uh, a new evolution for Scyther or Scizor, Cleavor. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty sick. Yeah, that is pretty cool. He's like a rock type or something like that. Mm -hmm. He's got like giant like stone axes on his arms. That's pretty cool. I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Um, where did you where did you pre order the game already? I haven't. Um, I'm actually probably just going to grab it on my Switch and then download it. And then Thursday night, I'll probably stay up late and play it. I heard. Um, I heard for downloading it, I believe you get uh, a special kimono and then you get like 30 heavy balls, I believe. I pre-ordered from GameStop, um, so I'm not 100% sure what GameStop is going to be doing. I hope we get something cool. I don't know. I think from Amazon, if you do it, you get like a plushie or something, don't you? Yeah, um, I think you get a plushie. I've seen some of the other countries. They have some really cool things. I think one of them gives you like a little mini figure, um, a poster, like... Yeah, we don't get anything sick like that. But well, the uh, cool thing is, I don't know if GameStop wants me to say this, but <laughs> um, most of the time, if they have like overstock on um, pre-release or pre-order stuff, they'll just give it to you after a day or two if they have too much. You know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. just giving it out. So honestly, you can pre-order it to get the stuff, but I, if you want to pre-order it, I would pre-order just to get the game. Make sure you get it not sure. for the for the items because you might get them anyway you know what i mean sure sure no that's a, um i remember a few months ago back like when they was doing like the what was it uh i think it was like the dereladon promo was the last game oh, yeah. promo yeah and i went back and i and i found cards and they was just they was like oh well you know we have some of these left over and it just depends on gamestop i guess the employees so yeah whenever that came out um I think they also had the giant card for the um, VMAX Snorlax. I never got one. I, uh, I grabbed one of those. They gave me one of those. They gave me the Duraludon, and then they gave me a binder for the big cards. So, hmm. yeah. I think that was whenever um, Evolving Skies came out. You pre-ordered yep. it or something like that, and you got those things. So I just kind of walked in, and I was like, hey, you got cards? And they're like, yeah. And then whenever I checked out, they're just like, here's all this other stuff you can have. So let me ask you, what are some of your – predictions i guess for this game because i mean we're getting all these new evolutions do you think we're going to see some gen 9 uh pokemon in here that's you know they're keeping top secret they are known for that kind of stuff um you know they they like to put little subtle hints in the games so we might see some different stuff i don't know they might be holding something back or you know they might well i mean even with sword and shield they um I think they injected things like after the game was already out to like add a few different things. And then they came out with DLC. So, you mm -hmm. know, they, we might get DLC later that kind of pushes this into gen nine, you know, cause that probably come out next year, I would say, or this, the end of this year. Well, we don't know, but 
usually they announce something around Pokemon Day in February. So I don't know. I'm kind of excited to see if they do that. I was uh, talking to PokeGPA, and uh, PokeGPA was saying that he's predicting that we're going to get Gen 9 at the end of this year. So if that's true, I mean, I am so stoked. Yeah, I mean, it follows their pattern. So, you know, we get a, a, a mainline game or a, a core game or whatever you want to say it. And um, then we get a remake or something or some kind of spinoff. So I don't know. this If it, the pattern sticks, then we should be getting Gen 9 this year. So yeah, that would be so awesome. Yeah. Did I you actually hear the rumor about that? So um, if you think about it, they they like to put little like Easter eggs and stuff like that in games. Um, Kabaraja, it's its evolution. Okay. Yeah, so they're saying that that elephant is from like India. So they're thinking that that would be the Easter egg. So maybe the next Pokemon game would be like in India or something like that, like a, that kind of setting. You know what I mean? Or um, I, Egypt or something. Cool. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool, actually. Um, I don't think we've actually gotten any kind of like country like that. We've gotten like Britain, we got America, we got in Japan, we got France. So I think that would be, you know, a little bit like a culture change. And that'd be kind of cool. Honestly, I'd like to see that. I'd really love to see some more like um, diversity and some of like the avatar stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm a bigger guy. I want, want to be represented as a bigger guy. You know, we need more skin colors. We need more eye colors. We need more, more stuff. That's just yeah. what I'd yeah. love to see. I I'd, I'd like to see um, them let us be adults, actually. Like, starting our journey, and once we beat the game, like, it sets the game in the future or something like that, and then we're adults. Then we can have beards and stuff right. like that. You know what I mean? Like, we're still Pokemon trainers. We're the champion, and it kind of, like, the end game or after game or whatever thing can be, like, you as an adult now. You know what I mean? You've already done your Pokemon journey. You've collected all the badges to the champion. Now what are you doing? You know, yeah, you know, and I think you care of your kids, you're making dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got a family, you know, like I think that would be kind of cool if we could have like we could be adults, you know what I mean? Because it's just not a bunch of kids running around, there are adults in Pokemon, so you know, sure, we'd be an adult. <laughs> so. That's what I'm saying. I, I think we should we should have more, uh, more diversity, and mm -hmm. like, we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully we get something cool. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> but I don't know. I think RCS is going to be pretty cool. What I've seen so far with people that are playing it and like showing it on um, like different social media and stuff like that, it looks pretty cool. Especially like, um, did you see the size difference thing where like you can get um, normal like Pokemon and then you can get alpha Pokemon and they're huge? What? Yeah. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. They're like five times your size or something like this. Huge. I saw oh one, it was goodness. like a, a low penny and like the low penny the normal one was like the normal size. It was about the size of the trainer. And then they threw out the alpha one and it was like gigantic. Wow. So, yeah. I don't know. Okay. That's a cool mechanic. I like the, the size differences. You know what I mean? Definitely excited. Um, I, I seen that you can uh, forge, that you can, um, you know, what's the word i'm looking for i guess make stuff in there so that's gonna yeah, be pretty awesome craft too. stuff yeah yeah craft there you go mm -hmm. so that's gonna be pretty exciting mm -hmm. um so yeah i'm all for it i'm uh, very very stoked lots yeah. of lots of hours of lost sleep coming for me <laughs> same i don't get enough sleep anyway because i have a baby but you know <laughs> it's whatever i don't sleep i didn't sleep before so might as mm -hmm. well just stay up and play pokemon all night <laughs> right I, I I think that um, I'm expecting probably, just depending on how big the game is, at least spending a month trying to beat it. I think I think mm -hmm. uh, Brilliant Diamond took me, I'm gonna say a good week to try to beat it. But you know, mm -hmm. I still haven't beaten it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I uh, I don't know. I got bored with it. Honestly, I don't know. Remakes are, yeah, for me. I don't know. I don't really ever get excited about them. I've already played them once. Well, I didn't play Diamond Pearl, but I played as much as I could, and I didn't really care for Gen Four. Don't don't hate on me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite's Gen Three. So whenever uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, I was on that. But I don't know. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I was just like, hmm, I don't know. I'm not really that excited for it. I was more excited for Arceus. So 
You know. No, Arceus, uh, I was excited for both of them, but Arceus is just going to be top tier. I am super stoked mm-hmm. for it. It's a new game. We're all going to be learning everything together, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be amazing. Yeah. Do you think that they'll bring the same mechanic over into Gen 9? Maybe this will be a, how Pokemon is played now? I'm, I'm thinking so. I'm thinking that, you know, they want to run with a little bit of uh, consistency, you know, um, and, you know, phase out different mechanics and just keep it fresh. So I'm thinking so. Yeah. Well, they did that with, um, was it Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? So, like, mm-hmm. they had the Pokemon in the Overworld and all that kind of stuff. I mean, they didn't bring over, like, seeing them shiny or anything, but you know, it was kind of cool in the wild area to go and like see all the Pokemon walking around. You know what I mean? So they kind of brought that mechanic over. So I'm hoping that this is like a test run to see how this will work. And maybe main Pokemon games will be like this from now on. I don't know. I feel like it would be. That'd be kind of cool. I feel like it would bring more life to Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the same copy and paste thing has been throughout the years. Like you get your first Pokemon, you go gyms and you know, you have a little bit of a story, and then you have your rival. Yeah, you got your rival. It's it's the same kind of thing. I mean, it's fun. I'm not saying it's not fun because I love it, but <laughs> I'm just saying that maybe we need you know a little bit of a change up, something new. You know what I mean? So, and I mean that's what they were doing with like Mega Evolution, which I wish they would have brought that back because I love Mega Evolution, and then like Dynamax and stuff like that. You know what I mean? They're trying different mechanics, so. I don't know, but every game has their own thing. So I don't know. Maybe Gen 9 will be just like Arceus. You know, I think it's going to be probably continuing on with this mechanic just to test it out. I would really love to see a modern day Pokemon. I think that would be really cool. Um, Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, something I mean, they could they could do it like in in the city, like New York or something like that. Or maybe they have to like go through you know america or whatever they could go through the world like they'll have like you know part of it will be in tokyo part of it will be you know i mm-hmm. think that would be really awesome yeah kind of like all the regions or something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that'd be cool though everybody wants that everybody wants the the game with all the regions in it go travel around all of them i don't know how that would work it'd be way too big you know what i mean it'd be way too too much content right Unless they split it up into like DLC, so like you get like the new region, and then you can like go back to Galar or something like that, and then like their DLC could be like, oh, now you can go back to Sinnoh, and now you can go back to Alola, or you can go back to uh, Unova or something like that. You know what I mean? So like mm-hmm. that'd be kind of cool if they did DLC like that. I don't see how why they couldn't do it. You know what I mean? But I just feel like if they brought it all out at once, it'd be kind of too big. You know what I mean? A spoiler warning. I like that they said that it's going to be a little bit of time traveling. So, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry then. I'm sorry then. Uh, so, no, okay. that's okay. I'm all okay, right. With that. So, I like okay, time so, travel. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh, basically, the kids, I guess, um, I think it picks up in the last game. I think it picks up in, in, in uh, Brilliant Diamond. So, they got a road on phone. <laughs> and uh or so, some type of road on and apparently they time travel rcs sees them and then transports them into uh the Husuian re- region so i think that's pretty cool so the the main people like the main kids in it that you play as aren't actually from that time period uh so they're 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 from brilliant diamond yeah they're not from that time period they're from brilliant diamond and then it, he apparently makes them to change into those clothes so they could fit in. Oh, oh, maybe that's what the RCS phone comes into play because mm-hmm. that technology shouldn't have been then. You know what I mean? The Pokeballs are wooden and steam. You know what I mean? Like, why would they have a phone? I really like the the Pokeball. I know it was getting a lot of hate, but I thought it was pretty cool. It kind of looks like, like steampunk, though. Yeah, I like the Pokeballs. They're really cool looking. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And do you make them yourself? Like, do you craft your own Pokeballs? I'm thinking so. I like, guess we'll have to find out. I don't know. I'm kind of excited. I'm. I can't wait for this game. It's gonna be so much fun. 
I can't wait for the next episode so we can actually have feedback on it. Right? Yeah. I think the Discord is going to go nuts when it releases. Oh, um, it's going to yes. be a lot of fun. I can't yes. wait to see all the screenshots. Yep. It's definitely going to blow up in there. So if you're not following us or in the Discord, you better get in there and get in the conversation because that place is going to blow up on Friday. <laughs> So um, you can follow us on Instagram and you can get us on TikTok and both of those have the link to our discord. So. Yep. Well, thank you all for watching. It was really awesome and have a great day. See ya. <laughs>